Welcome to the Love Heal Thrive podcast, where you learn to love yourself enough to heal and heal yourself enough to thrive. I'm your host, Erin Gray. I am a Reiki master hypnotherapist, certified Enneagram and meditation coach, and simply someone who has experienced energy patterns her whole entire life. And it's been hard, but I have learned it doesn't have to be. Each week, I will teach you tools and techniques from my own journey, as well as bring in amazing guests so that we can help shift your energy sensitivity into your superpower. I'm so happy you're here. Let's get started. Welcome. I'm so happy you are here. Today, we are diving into the question, what is your sixth sense and how do you strengthen it? This is one of my favorite topics <laughs> because I think it is so, so important. And I think it is really important to understand how this whole system works and what you can do to not only balance your energy, but also increase your intuition. And then life not only gets easier, it gets fun. We stress less, we worry less because we feel guided and we embody and experience this peace that is indescribable. And that's the feeling I want you to enjoy every single day that you're being guided. And all you have to do is learn what your signs are telling you, because I can tell you they are telling you. When I was a little girl, there was this period of time where I had this premonition that someone was going to break into our home. And this is throwback that <laughs> I had this premonition they were going to break in to steal our VCR. Yep. <laughs> Age flex. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> so, but it was specific to the VCR, which was located in our living room. So for three days, and I, and I actually felt it getting closer and closer and closer for three days. When my parents would open the door, I would quickly gaze at the VCR clock to see that the time was still registering there. It was the most bizarre thing. I mean, now I look back, I realize it was not so bizarre, but then I just knew I had to check for the time. So day one, I checked the time was there. I checked on day two, the time was there. Day three, I checked and the time was there. Day four, I fortunately had been invited to go play at a friend's house after school. But so my parents picked me up after work and then we went home. And when they opened up the door, I immediately looked to the clock and it was gone. The VCR had been gone and it turns out that the person had come through my bedroom window because it had been the easiest window to open up and move through. And I've thought about this window of time in my life so often, this premonition that I had. What, what was it that I experienced for me to know that this was going to happen? And it was in three days time. I remember this specifically. It was on the fourth day. But was it that I saw him watching our patterns? Did I smell his lingering cologne that perhaps he had walked around the house? And what about that sixth sense? What created that circumstance within my system to know this was going to happen? And I was too young to really understand what was happening, nor to say anything to my parents. And what would have changed? Maybe we would have batten down the hatches, maybe a little bit more. I don't know. We did ultimately put a, a stick in my window, which made it ultimately more safe and secure. What three-day messages have you been receiving that you're not listening to? Where in your life can you begin to adhere and pay attention and respond to the intuitive guidance that you are receiving to make life easier, more plentiful. And this is not fear-based. I don't want you to lean into your fears <laughs> because I actually was never, I never felt afraid in that moment. I just knew it was going to happen. 
It's a subtle difference, but really I wasn't afraid. I just knew it was going to happen. So perhaps if I told my parents in that moment, again, we could have secured the home in the way that we secured it after the fact, and maybe that would have never happened. But again, I was too young at the time to think about that, but you aren't. Where in your three-day awareness can you begin to make shifts and changes? And the difference between divine guidance and other guidance is it should feel peaceful. This is not a fear-mongering, where are all the troubleshooting ways I can improve my life. That is not it at all. As we are going to talk today, you are going to receive distinct signs that are specific to you, that's guiding you and directing you to your most peaceful, happy life. What is your sixth sense and how can you strengthen it? Our third eye chakra houses our sixth sense. You see, each one of our chakras feeds one of our senses, which ultimately presents as an intuitive sense. Our root chakra feeds our sense of smell. Our sacral chakra feeds our sense of taste. Our solar plexus chakra feeds our sense of sight. Our heart chakra feeds our sense of touch. Our throat chakra feeds our sense of hearing. And our third eye is the summation of all of those chakras here within this space, integrating, offering you divine guidance. If you experienced trauma as a child, it could be that you were intuitively using all of these senses and not even recognizing it. Everything was heightened. Everything was sensory. These, the high sensory child is an energetically sensitive child. When we have trauma, we need our sense of smell, our sense of taste, our sense of sight to know whether or not a room is safe to go into, whether a person is safe to be with. Our intuition tells us and guides us to keep us safe, to offer us the happiest and best life. And each one of these chakras then ultimately make up one of the seven layers of our aura. So our root chakra is closest to our body. Our sacral chakra layers on top of that. Our solar plexus on top of that. Our heart, our throat, our third eye and crown chakra, creating the seven layer electromagnetic field around us that is also this integration of our senses. So not only is it reading energy, it's also an indicator of our senses. So as someone approaches us from afar, it begins in the collective conscious where everything is all together. And then we have an intuitive knowing, is this person good or bad? And then we hear them and then we touch them and then we see them and then we taste them and we may not taste them directly, but we get a taste in our mouth. We may, this may be the moment when we grab water or mints or gum and then we smell. So it is in this same auric layer that this intuition gathers data gathers data for you and your environment and the people within it that guide you and direct you. So our intuition is heightened when our chakras are balanced. In the same way that you experience seven main balanced chakras, you also have access to all seven intuitive ways of guidance. This drives me so crazy when people label and limit themselves. Oh, I'm clairaudient. I'm clairvoyant. No, we have access to all seven senses intuitively in that same way. However, as we look to the chakra system as the base of our intuition, we can look to see which energy centers are stagnant and which energy centers are flowing. And that flows much like our lungs would breathe in and out. The energy within our chakra system breathes in and out into our auric field. It breathes in and out. But what do you think might happen 
to that layer of your aura and intuition data gathering if that chakra is stagnant. Yes, <laughs> in the same way that the energy is stagnant here within your internal system, it becomes stagnant in our interpretation within the auric field. This is how we get this misinterpretation of situations or people that you know have that misinterpretation. It is stagnant energy creating this misinterpretation. It also misinterprets our intuition or limits our intuition. So each one of our chakras is influenced by a certain age range in our life. And so I want to read through this. I'm going to read through the chakra list, including the age range influence and the sense. And I want you to notice, do you have a limitation on that sense in physical body? Or do you have a limitation in intuitive sense here? What I want you to do is begin to open up to the idea that maybe we just need to do some journaling, some meditating, some healing on that energy center so that we can bring that sense to life, both physically and intuitively. So our root chakra influences the ages of zero to seven, and it is our sense of smell. In intuitive terms, this is clear aliens. Our sacral chakra influences the ages of seven to 14, and it is our sense of taste. In the clairs, it's Claire Gustance. Our solar plexus influences our ages of 14 to 21. It is our sense of sight, which is clairvoyance. Our heart chakra influences the ages between 21 and 28. And it is our sense of touch, which is clairtangency. This is when you can touch something and read it. The art of this is psychometry. Our throat chakra is influenced by the ages of 28 to 35. It is where we hear. It is our clear audience. And our third eye has been open since we were born. It's only when people tell us to stop paying attention to it, does it close? And then we have to reopen it. <laughs> This is our clear cognizance. This is our knowing. This is the integration of all of these senses that create this knowing that offers you this peace and guidance that life becomes safe and fun and joyous because you know that you're being guided and blessed every moment along the way. We are going to dive into this so much in just a moment right after this quick break. Once our chakras are balanced and flowing, we have equal access to our energy centers as well as our intuition. My book, Establishing Equilibrium, takes you on this powerful healing journey that teaches you how to balance each one of your energy centers along with diagnosing your own body using the counter chakra system. This is such a powerful way to balance your energy system and tap into your intuition. I would love to walk with you on this journey. If you're interested, click the link down below. Now, back to our show. During the pandemic, there was a period of time where we were led to believe that we weren't supposed to carry purses around. <laughs> and so I had my wallet, my phone, and my keys everywhere that I went. And during this particular window of time, I was closing Love, Yell, Thrive brick and mortar in order to go worldwide. So I'm so happy that I did that because now I'm reaching so many more people than those just in my local town. However, during this time period, this was really sad. <laughs> I was very sad to close this local space, but knew that my intuition was guiding me and directing me. And so there was this one day where I had my keys and wallet and phone in hand, but I also had all of these boxes that I was carrying out of the center to take to my car. And so I didn't see where I was walking and I missed the curb. So as you may surmise, I missed the curb and just fell everywhere. Everything went everywhere. And I was sad on top of sad because now I was closing my space and now there was just things everywhere all over the street. So I gathered all my things, put them back in the boxes, but I couldn't find my keys. 
And in that very same moment, when I recognized and realized I didn't have my keys, there had been a UPS truck parked just to the left of me that drove off. And I am telling you in that moment, I knew my keys were in that truck and I knew that it didn't make sense, but I knew I got the intuitive hit. My keys were in that truck. And I was like, wait, I literally said, wait, wait, my keys are in there. And I did not understand how that could even be possible, but I knew that it was. So I did the human thing (laughs) and I looked around everywhere on the ground for them in bushes. I called my husband, had him bring my extra keys down. He started looking, but I knew I kept saying my keys are in that truck. My keys are in that truck. And so I had this moment probably an hour later where I closed my eyes and I sat on the corner or I stood on the corner and I said, universe, I know my keys are in that truck. How are you going to bring that truck to me? And I am telling you, I'm not even making this up. (laughs) I am not even kidding. I opened my eyes and the truck was making a left-hand turn right in front of me down the street. So I screamed and said, I'm getting in the car. I'm going to go chase the truck. Like this crazy woman, I jumped in the car and started chasing down this UPS truck. But this is how certain I was about my intuition. And this is how certain I want you to feel about your intuition. I want you to be so clear and so trusting and so knowing that you are willing to get in the truck and chase down the UPS truck or whatever version of that exists in your life, this is the certainty that I want for you. So I followed the truck (laughs) and when he parked, I got out and was so nice. And I said, hi, Um, I was just over on this particular street and I fell and I think that my keys are in your truck. And if you look at UPS trucks, you will notice that in the front bumper, there is actually a hole in the front bumper. And just inside the hole, there is literally this little ledge, a perfect stage for my key reveal. (laughs) And the gentleman bent down, literally put his hand in the hole, grabbed my keys and handed them to me. I kid you not. It was so incredible. And he said, yeah, well, look, you're right. Here they are. (laughs) It was amazing. So I drove back and I showed my husband. He couldn't believe it. And I, I could. I knew they were there. My intuition was so clear. I knew they were there. How can you get this clear on your intuition? Will you begin by balancing these energy centers and healing the energy centers that are stagnant? Again, let's review that list one more time. Our root chakra is zero to seven and the sense of smell. Sacral chakra, seven to 14, sense of taste. Solar plexus, sense of sight, 14 to 21. Our heart, ages 21 to 28, our sense of touch. Our throat chakra, influenced by the ages of 28 to 35, and it's our sense of hearing. And then our third eye is the culmination of all of those senses. Where can you journal? Where can you heal? Where can you meditate on one of those senses and age ranges that can help you begin to have more accurate sense and more accurate sensing? This is why intuitive guidance is called sensing. How can you heal and balance your energy centers to strengthen your sixth sense. Begin by journaling and meditating on these. And I'm going to include a link down below to an incredible meditation that I created that takes you through this chakra clearing process. You begin by grounding your energy down into the center of the earth with mama earth's permission. And then you draw up this beautiful earth energy here. And then you invite this divine guide, whatever that is for you with this divine vacuum. And we vacuum out all the debris and black energy that might be there, this stagnant energy that 
represents in the third eye is black. It's not necessarily black energy. It's just, it, it shows up visually within the third eye as black energy, but it's just stagnant energy stories that we've told ourselves that it's emotional stagnation. So we vacuum the root chakra back and forth, and then we spin the root chakra clockwise to be this beautiful red ruby energy flowing out. And then we move up to the sacral chakra and we vacuum this as well. And then we spin the sacral chakra to be this bright orange. And then the solar plexus to then be this beautiful yellow sunshine. Our heart chakra to be this beautiful emerald green gem. Our throat chakra becomes this beautiful aquamarine light blue gem. Our third eye becomes indigo and our crown becomes this beautiful amethyst. I walk you through a beautiful meditation in the link down below, but this is the essentials if you just want to visualize it yourself. This will strengthen your intuition by way of clearing your chakra system. It is just a function of clear energy, clear aura, clear knowing. I am so excited for you. Good luck this week. I can't wait to hear how your sixth sense goes and how you strengthen it. Let me know down below, what did you do this week? Which way did you clear and cleanse and activate one of your senses so that you could get step by step closer and closer to full integration of all of your senses and your intuition. If you found this helpful, could you like this episode down below and leave me a comment? It makes such a huge difference. And if you have friends who want to grow and strengthen their intuition, please post, please share this episode so that everyone can learn how the intuition system works and everyone can tap into this powerful divine energy. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. I'm so grateful you are here and I will see you next week. Love yourself enough to heal, heal yourself enough to thrive. Take care.